everyone, and welcome to another episode of 1923 Main Street. Home of the Disney Travel Podcast with the latest Disney Travel news. We are your hosts. I am Mike Bellabratic. And I'm Amelia Bellabratic. And today, news fresh from the D23 Expo. Yes, the Expo just wrapped up. But most importantly for our podcast, the part on Disney Parks and Resorts, we are going to focus in on all the news that's worth sharing and what it means to you and when stuff is happening. And you know what? We're going to completely flip how they present it because we want to give you what I know you want to hear most. What's next for Disney Parks in the Blue Sky section? So these are the things. They're not coming next year. No, they're coming a little bit farther down the road. But they as, are in the works. Yes, as Josh Damara was clear to say, this isn't just stuff we're throwing out there. This stuff is... He's pretty much said this stuff is happening without saying this stuff is happening. There's been talks. So let's begin in the blue sky section. What's coming? So first, Dino Land at Animal Kingdom is getting a huge transformation. Yeah, now you could tell if you've been to Dino Land recently that it needs it. It's a little tired, rides are disappearing, and you know, you sort of just pass through there, but that's about to change. As yeah. they say, with the power of transformative adventures. No, Two favorites. Zootopia and Moana yeah, are both coming to Yeah, we were just talking about Moana's Mountain in Magic Kingdom, but I guess not. I'm sorry. I want to know how these are related to Dino Land. They're question. not related to Dino Land as much as they're related to Animal Kingdom. And the way yeah. they described it was the, you know, symbiosis of the animal and plant life and the world. So well, obviously Zootopia. Yeah, <laughs> and, obviously. You know, Zootopia. they talked about a lot of stuff here, right? They talked about taking the train ride to all the lands. My head is filled with information. That's why I thought they were going to use Rafiki's, you know, you, you take the train there in Animal Kingdom. So I thought that was the obvious choice for Zootopia. What if they are doing that and then they're connecting Dinoland somehow because they talked about visiting the rainforest and all the different parts of Zootopia. I wouldn't be surprised. And then we thought, wow, that's a lot. And then they threw Moana on top of that. And they didn't make it sound like it was if this or that. They made it sound like both Moana and Zootopia. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, because Dinoland doesn't appear that big to us, but you never really know what's backstage. Well, after they took out the spin cycle, they've got a lot of space. So that is one, but that is not the biggest one, in my opinion, or at least for my personal likings. Disney's Magic Kingdom part. Yeah, if you thought, oh, fair listeners, that they could not, there's no more room in Magic Kingdom. What can they do? Where, where Wrong. Can they... <laughs> Wrong. You are. They are looking at a new frontier. And where would you find this new frontier? On the other side of Big Thunder. Did um, you know there was space back yeah, there? And, and you know what's cool? The Walt Disney World Railroad runs back there. Right now, there's like probably some dated things that they're going to change, but it runs right behind. I did know there was space there, but not this much space. Yeah. This must be one you love. I'm I'm pretty excited and about this. And they showed some concept art, which I'm sure has flooded the internet already. But what are we going to find on the other side of Big Thunder Mountain? So first... There is the little town of Santa Celia, and this is from the movie Coco, and they're going to bring in lots of different Mexican cultures, and they also talked about a ride, which to me sounds similar to Flight of Passage, yeah. where you can fly on the back of, you know, those creatures that take you to the land of the dead, yeah. and you can fly on them, and you can experience all of that sort of culture, so, so that's Dias exciting. So Dias de las will be celebrated there, they pointed that out. And then the probably the best line of the conference. I was, you know what? I was waiting for this when I at Coco. I was like, oh, I wonder if they're gonna tie in. And then it went. So what if we do want to talk about Bruno? Yeah. Oh, to which the audience roared, as you can imagine. Yes, we do want to talk about Bruno. And so they proposed, what if you could walk in to the Madrigal's Casita? And what if you could go behind that door and all sorts what of fun stuff? What if you could stuff? go up to Bruno's Tower and into Antonio's forest or tree area? You know, it's fun <laughs> when they talk about this. When they talked about that one, I immediately started thinking of Enchanted Tales with Belle and how you go through the door and, and cool stuff like that. So uh, just as we did for Flight of Passage for Coco. Or even I'd be excited if it was a ride that has a similar track to, you know, like Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway or Ratatouille, like those sort of cars, because Magic Kingdom doesn't really have anything like that. So if it was one of those things that like took you through the house and up the door and into the doors and up the stairs and something like that, I'd be excited for that. You too. know, just off the top of my head, 
looking at their timelines, I would say this stuff would actually open in 10 years. Yeah. This is the type of thing that maybe next year or the year after D23, they officially announce it like mm -hmm. more than this just sneak peek. Yeah. But we're not done yet. This is far in the future. These two lands are not... All that is behind Big Thunder. Yeah, they're not alone mm -hmm. either. They're, because, yeah. There may be some evil lurking. Exactly. Because of what possibly got the biggest roar yeah, it of was the T23 the, Expo. Yeah, the most outrageous, thunderous applause when they said one thing. What if we had a land that was overtaken by villains? And you know, if you listen to our show regularly, we, we have wanted been a waiting park. waiting for this. But I'll take a land. <laughs> I will take a land. If you're expanding Magic Kingdom, especially because they're building all sorts of new hotels in the area, yeah, you have to have more, more stuff. at Magic. And I feel like the timelines might be not so subtly synced up. Yeah. So there you go. There is a villain's land overlooking or however they were going to put it together. They showed it, and it was amazing. You could see the villains off in the distance and the poor <laughs> Coco and Uncanto folks not knowing what's in store for them. And all of this will lie beyond Big Thunder Mountain. So you're never going to yeah. look at those red rocks the same now in your next visit. So that was amazing. That was the Blue Sky session. Everything I really wanted to hear was there, finally. Yes. Some of the things I really... I mean, I, I did want to park, but I'll take a land. Yeah. So that's a little bit far in the future. And what we're going to have coming up sooner, there is some exciting news about the happenings of Walt Disney World. And Disneyland. Let's start... Yes. Most of the news was about Disneyland. And, of you course, know, a lot of it is... The conference was in California. The conference in California. And it is Disney 100, which yes. truly is Disney, you know, California. So that's fair. But let's start with Walt Disney World. So there is a new nighttime show at Epcot for Disney 100. And this is going to debut late in 2023. So of here's course, the thing. So they said, the you know, they were saying, oh, if you want to see Harmonious, I suggest you go see it. Wink, wink. In other words, Harmonious is disappearing. So oh, no. Is all this crap in the water? <laughs> Harmonious is disappearing? So all this crap in the water, these barges and all the stuff that ruined the sight lines on go World away? Showcase is it Lagoon. Go away? No, is it I think go they away? really built it for this. Ugh. So anyway, Harmonious will be gone. And in late 2023, there will be a new show. So that's October. I think October 16th is the actual date for the company's birth. Yes, October. So that will be... Man, they uh, really love October yeah, with these kind of things. Well, that's just when Walt's thing, you know, Walt did his thing, I guess. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be coming. But there's more. Also in late 23, Journey of Water and the rest of the center at Epcot will finally open and those yeah. walls will finally be we down. We just talked about that, the <laughs> Moana's Journey of Water and, you know, what for what it's worth. I'm surprised. Late 20... So we're going to have to look at those walls for another year? Holy cow. I, that yep. one... That one was a surprise to me. I was not happy to hear that. But I know, speaking of Epcot, there is one that some people, not so much me, I don't really care, but a lot of people will care about this next one. There is a Figment meet and greet, which is coming also by the end of 2023. Yeah, so they've previewed what Figment will look like, their yeah. whole new Figment character. Well, it's the 100th anniversary. He was around Figment's in the past. a classic. You yeah, know what? So he's now going to be back. Now, I, there is one that I care about, not in this park, but in Magic Kingdom, that yeah. got probably the second biggest applause, I think, <laughs> after the villains. Magic Kingdom, the stuff that is next on this list, I am so excited about everything that's coming to Magic Kingdom. Firstly, the Magic Kingdom Hatbox Ghost will be coming alive in the Haunted yes, Mansion. Yes, he, he's in Disneyland, and we've been saying, you know, the Hatbox Ghost is a classic. They always use him in a lot of their pictures, but he's not there anymore. Exactly. It's a, it's a trickery at its finest, and finally, he will be coming back. And if he goes in the spot, I, he should go in. It's, you know, when you go backwards on the Magic Kingdom ride, yeah. and then you come to the bottom, just before you enter the graveyard, there's a guy standing there with a lantern and his dog. Uh -huh. That's where the Hatbox Ghost will be replacing that's where he should go. That Yeah, that would totally fit. So we'll see. And then we finally learned something else. Yes. Tron Light Cycle Run at Magic Kingdom will be making its debut in spring 2023, which to me means please March break. Yeah, please, please March so, break. Please March break. We have a couple of, well, we have yeah. three trips planned, you uh -huh. know, as we usually do. But yeah. one of them is in spring, but they haven't yeah. given a date. They just said yeah. spring. And they said they're working on finishing touches. Yeah, they showed so. Josh tomorrow riding it. So they're, you know, they're at the point now where uh -huh. people are doing lots yeah. of test runs. So hopefully we can see it at least by 
our later trips in 2023. All right. Oh, one more. (laughs) I am so excited about this. I can't tell you how happy I am about this next thing and nobody else will care. But I am very happy to announce that in 2023, Happily Ever After will return as part of a new Magic Kingdom nighttime show. So I I don't know if, if this is part of the 2023 hundred show. I or don't how care. They're doing it. It's not the same one. They made it sound like they're incorporating it into a new show. So That's we'll see. Fine, as long as the song "Happily Ever After" is there. Well, it will be. Yeah. As long that, as that got a pretty good uh, amount of applause as well. I yeah, have to say. everyone loves it. It's amazing. Okay, so oh, Disneyland right. now. Lots of stuff going on. Let's talk about the villas first. The villas at Disneyland Hotel will now be called the villas at Disneyland Hotel. So we know yeah. that. The wow. celebration for 100th will begin on October 16th, mm-hmm. and there are some new characters coming to show up that you can do meet and greets at Disneyland. Why don't we run through those quickly? In yeah. Batu, who are we going to be able to meet? The Sorry. Mandalorian and Grogu. They showed it in person. It is amazing. He's on stage, and he's got Grogu, Baby Yoda in his pouch, and Baby Yoda makes lots of noises and talks and stuff. So in mid-November 2022, this is coming up right now, people. Yeah, that's sooner than I expected, actually. Yeah, you're going to be able to meet Mando and Baby Yoda. I still hate saying Grogu. I I refuse to say it. It's Baby Yoda. And across the way in California (laughs) Adventure. Something I'm pretty excited about, Avengers Campus is just getting started. Kevin Feige, who's the president of Marvel Studios, and Mark Ruffalo jumped in to ask for a little green, and Hulk came on stage. Yeah, they showed this giant Hulk. It is literally twice the size of humans. And it yeah. was Mark. It was like Mark's voice talking. Yeah, it was. Mar- yeah, it was pretty impressive because I assume that's the size he's actually supposed to be in the movie. So it was pretty cool to see them bring and it to life. And even cooler is when this one's happening. Yes, you can meet Hulk at Avengers Campus in California, and next week, just for a little while. Yeah, they said next week, like this week, I guess. By the well, I mean this is this week is next week. I don't know when this week next week is, but sometime in October or sorry, September. September. Yeah. So get there now. But he's only going to be there for a while, so I don't know if he's is gonna he going to be. 20 feet tall. Yes. And maybe it's like a test run. I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, that's why Kevin Feige said we're just getting started. So there's a lot more to go there. And what else are they doing? This is what I'm saying. We have to plan a trip to California because bringing the multiverse to Avengers Campus, it's expanding to include a new attraction. Yeah. In the new attraction. You can battle alongside all the Avengers anywhere you can fight Thanos, which is a new Thanos. And this is a uh, multiverse King timeline. Thanos, they're calling him. Yes. This is a multiverse timeline in which Thanos won. Yes. I don't want to see this, but yes. we'll have to fight him. And the Avengers are not too happy about that, we'll just say. And so you have to help them fight. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so rest. that's the attraction. So that's that's that one's coming for sure. And then also new to Disney California Adventure. I'm sort of mixed on this, but I guess it'll be cool. Pacific Wharf, which I like is going to be reimagined into San Francisco from Big Hero 6. Yeah, and you can also meet Baymax because, you yeah. know, they love their meet and greet. I guess that sort of makes sense. And another one I said, why the heck didn't they do this? Well, That's they're right. finally doing it. So P- Paradise Pier Hotel will finally become Pixar Place Hotel because it just fits with everything yeah. else, and Finding Nemo, Splash Pad, and characters. Yeah, it's going to feel completely new, yeah. they said, so that's good. Downtown Disney, lots of new stuff coming there. I think they said 12 places coming. And yeah. I guess if you live in California, you'll know what Porto's is. <laughs> we don't, yeah. but it got a big cheer. It's a SoCal favorite. It's a bakery. Yeah, so maybe exactly. it's like the Gideons of Disney Springs. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to try it. Yeah. And uh, everyone got a sample who was at D23 in the yes. session. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> and also Mickey's Toontown and Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Slightly different version than Disney World. Um, but this will fit into Toontown, which will be opening in 2023. Yeah, I like that they're making it slightly different. And also, Run Disney fans. I'm not a Run Disney fan. But I was actually there when the last race took place in 2017. And it's coming back in 2024. So if you're a Run Disney person, that's coming back. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. They had a lot of interesting stuff on this. So late 2024, they said, for both Disney World and Disneyland. Yeah. So the story picks up where Princess and the Frog left off. Yeah, so in this new story, she's an entrepreneur and a community leader in 1927, and she's hosting a party for the community. And, and our you, job is... You have to help Tiana find a missing ingredient. And I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that somehow this missing ingredient is at the bottom of a large water hill. Mm, I don't know. That seems a little bit far-fetched. I don't know how we're going to get a big water hill on the bayou, but we'll see. Mostly they're sort of lazy alligator-filled lagoons. But anyway, mm. let's see what happens. Maybe the special ingredient. And then they did say, you know... Was eaten by an alligator. The latest tech will really enhance the air at night. So we know they're not sort of changing the outside that much, which is fine with me. But what they are doing is they have this cool mist, sort of bayou-like, and 
I guess they're going to do projections yeah. on it and stuff. So the bottom line is, much like Galaxy's Edge, this is going to look much cooler at night. That's really what I got from this. That I'm excited for. Yeah, and they're really trying to make it authentic to the city of New Orleans. And all the original cast voices are being used. So I really think that's, that's nice. cool, too. And then finally, Disney Cruise Line. They announced the new ship, the Disney Treasure. Looks yes. pretty cool. And Disney Wonder is heading to Australia and New Zealand for the first time in 2023. So if you live there, you finally get to do a Disney cruise from a home port locally. Yeah, and the islands... Of Eleuthera in the Bahamas. And later point will be the new port for Disney Cruise. Yeah. And they will use 90% solar power. Yeah, this ships. is pretty cool because Eleuthera, or Eleuthera, depending on how you say it, is yeah. pretty much a barren, well, not barren, but there's not much there. It's a thin strip of sand on the outermost mm. islands of Bahamas. We were just talking about well, it with friends. Well, Disney had something to say about that, clearly. Yeah. And then around the world, Zootopia is opening in Shanghai Disneyland, so they're probably going to take some work from that for Animal Kingdom. Yep. The World of Frozen Hong Kong is coming later this year, and it's featuring a Second new coaster. Second half of 2023. Oh, sorry, 2023, next year. It's got yes. a new coaster. Yeah, this is exciting. Yeah, an oak and uh, wandering oak and sleigh coaster. So that's sort of cool. Disneyland Paris, Frozen Arendelle Land is coming along, and Disneyland Hotel is also being yes. fully reimagined, opening in 2024. We love Disneyland Hotel. It's been closed, so really looking forward to seeing the new one. Yes. And lastly, Tokyo Disney Fantasy Spring will feature Peter Pan, Tangled, and Frozen yeah, that's reimagined a new land. Space Mountain yes. by 2027. <laughs> so this Fantasy Spring sort of sounds like what they might be doing behind Big Thunder. Sort of three different concepts in one area. Well, it's ex it's exciting anyways. And I guess, you know, if they're the size of Pandora, you can make it work. It's yeah. not huge, but it sort of feels land-like. All right, that is all the Disney travel news from D23. Lots of it super was quite exciting a lot. stuff. There was quite a lot. Really like Josh tomorrow. Would like to see him climb sort of up the climb ranks. up the ranks and eventually become a new JPEG, perhaps. But that's just me. All right, everyone. Thank you, as always, for listening along. Let us know on social media how excited you are about these announcements, which one strikes you the most. Find us on social media at 1923 Main Street. Thank you for listening, as always, and have a magical day. Bye-bye.